Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi guys, Vex here. I was just derping around, uh, cleaning out some more area for my base. Basically gonna do this big square shape, so I've got this one landmass left to do, but it's, it's moving along. Uh, now, what I wanted to show you was that I am done with my excavation underground. So let's go take a look at that. Also, I just finished debugging a problem with teleporters. They were working and then basically the design more or less stopped working. So I've got a little liquid break right there in case anything falls down. So to recap, uh, this area over here is too close to the dungeon, uh, but we basically got this, this built and here in the middle is going to be the center area. And the uh, bottom down there, that's all filled in too. It's either, it's either closed up stone or uh, lava. Now, while I was building this, I did run into a lost girl. She died before I got her on video. And so I used the metal detector I got off of her to make a goblin tech. So the only thing I'm missing for the PDA is uh, the fish finder, I believe. Uh, so the spawn rates here, um, pretty good. I haven't actually just stood here to check it out. But now it's basically time to start building the pyramid and do the teleporters and, and whatnot. So, all right, so the middle of it is still about right here. I'll, I'll leave a torch in the middle. Yeah, come straight down. Ah. You guys can see even on normal mode, the spawn rates here. Uh, I've just got a constant trickle of monsters coming in. I also made a, uh, a statue grinder with my granite golem and jellyfish statues. Uh, that setup that I've got, it, it's, a, it's your basic setup with one bucket of lava, with, so a, a little thin layer of lava to kill them, and then I, you just pick up the items to the floor. That generates about 360 gold per hour. So that's how I got my, the Clintaminator from the steampunk merchant in my other worlds that had gone to hard mode. I got some solution I bought, and I still have four platinum coins, so that basically has solved my money issues. I still want to do the ocean grinder. Um, to farm the pirate treasure maps, but this is it gives me enough money to buy building supplies and, and whatnot. Now, so we need to make a uh, pyramid. I, I think they can be kind of just whatever size. Let's get a bunch of platforms to help me measure. So there needs to be plenty of room in here for uh, me to like do stuff. Let's see. So one, two, three, four. And the kill box up top, I think it needs to be a certain size to let the flying enemies get in. Other than that, I think that's about it right there. I basically just go down like this with it. And then that last one on the floor here is a uh, dart trap that faces outwards. Two dart traps, one faces this way. They walk up on that. And then this... This still feels small. I can always tear everything down and rebuild, right? Okay. So that's the basics. I guess this is plenty of space inside here. So the things you want inside are, let's see, your heart lanterns, um, a campfire, uh, water candles, obviously the teleporters. I guess I'll just fill this in over here. There we go. This feels pretty cozy. Now, probably need a workbench. We can get rid of these platforms, I think. Let's see, like this, and I'd kind of like to fill in, you know, block this off. It just looks, it looks neater like this, I think. Oh, look at that! I killed a lost girl, apparently, without see, with another lost, dead lost girl without seeing her. So there's another metal detector. That's amazing, I don't want this ancient, actually I do. No! Oh well, whatever. So this is the inside, so this up here, we need to set up the teleporter. So get my teleporters out, my wiring, and go ahead and do the conveyor belts, I suppose, while I'm at it. So the first teleporter, I probably want it to go over here, and we put the pressure plate at the teleporter over here. I have to ask myself, you know, where do you want the teleporter to go to get into this place? I guess here. Like, put it here. Did I bring a pressure plate? A second one? Please tell me I did. Activates when stepped on when a player steps on it. Okay, I won't, probably want this one. And you put it like, I think, here? You offset it. I think you need to offset it. And run this. So basically just run this uh, 
under. And that's in the middle. No, that's in the middle. I think, yeah, it was, my teleporter was working, and then it just stopped, basically stopped working. Yeah, this is, okay, so that goes there, and then this goes. Okay. So that works. Alright, it works. Uh, close enough. Now, I need to make some campfire. Put that off to the side, I suppose. And heart lantern. That hangs from the ceiling. Put that right there on the side. Okay. So that's two sources of regen, which is pretty good. And my spider is slacking, apparently. A crafting table is probably a good idea. Heck, maybe even some, like, light sources. I've heard people enjoy light sources. So it's well lit, uh, and we need background wall. Uh, about 600 should be enough. Let's see. Uh, I think 600 is going to be more than enough. Questioning if the elevator is big enough. Uh, pyramid, I mean. It's, it's probably fine. I'm gonna go look up some examples. We're right back. Okay, I remember what I was forgetting. Uh, this is apparently called a volcano farm, not a pyramid farm, so my bad. Uh, two, you need a way to change the biome uh, neatly. And <clears throat> there were two designs I saw, two things people were doing. Um, Oh, hey, it's the, it's the dude. Hey, actually, I have a bunch of crap that I want to sell you. Come here. Uh, that, um, that, that. You know what? Just probably most of this stuff, actually. Come here. Ooh, that's neat. Ooh, counterweight. Okay, yeah. Uh, that, that, that. Here, you can have that, too. Um, strange brew. Wow. Do I want that? It's rare. I'll buy a few of them. Uh, bone arrow. That's kind of neat. Oh, that looks rare. I'll buy that too. Uh, okay. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna go grab this stuff. So, what I'm missing is the uh, way to change the uh, biome. Now, there's two main ways to do that that I saw people doing. The first way is to just spray the ground uh, beneath you. So, like, you could stay here and just point the contaminator down and spray straight down. Um, that, I, I don't like that as much. Now, maybe if I had, like, boxed this in neatly, I would. And maybe I'll go back and, like, build a barrier around this. But I anyway, the other way builds a, a thing above, above here. They basically come up. You use 300 bricks, and you basically make a, a little obelisk type thing above your grinder that you can easily spray with the contaminator. So let's see. I need to basically make a, a cube of 300, basically, yeah, just 300 bricks, uh, 300 stone here. And this is more of a pain in the butt to make than I thought it would be. But ideally, it would be like long and thin, so like one contaminator shot can do the whole thing. Then you wrap this up in a box of uh, of some other brick so that it's contained so your, your biome doesn't spread, you know, accidentally out. This is making me question if, like, my thing's high enough now. Like, it's meant to be. Yeah, I do feel like I want more air above my spawning area. I probably don't need it, though. Like, I, sh I, sh I should probably just trust my measurements, right? And then run this down the side. I think... I need to lock on down there. There we go. Yes, that's what I needed. I can just put this down the sides here. 30. And I've got 39 left, so... We're at the point where I would want to go, like, straight up with it, I think. I think, for peace of mind, to make sure I've got enough blocks in this, I'm going to go above... I'm going to do one more layer on the sides. So this will be more than 300. 
And this is too high. This is too high, so it's like out of the boundaries of the grinder. So we're going to make it... There we go. This should be fine here. There we go. That should be it. Uh, now I just wrap this in some blocks to ensure the whatever biome is in there doesn't spread out. Also, it makes it look neat, which I'm a fan of. I would like this to be visually appealing, right? There we go. Cool. There we go. Now, uh, that should be just fine. Um, do I have any... Ah, oh, I should have put a piggy bank down here. Yeah, that's something I should have put down here, is a piggy bank. Alright. Uh, do I have a, uh, let's see, uh, water candle? A water candle is an important part. Put that there. That'll increase the spawns, and... Uh, next up is the conveyor, but I... Where are my torches? I thought I had the, the super bright torches. I was going to put them all around here. All right, all right, I gotta, uh, I'm gonna go do the torches around here. It's just gonna be some more donkey work, so I'll be back in a while. So the cool thing about having a statue grinder is that uh, in its current configuration, it's 360 gold an hour, right? I mean, pretty, pretty simple, rudimentary uh, statue grinder. But uh, with the shop right here, you can just, you know, do the left click, shift click as it comes in. It makes it very easy to sell stuff. And that's all great. And it's got the granite golems and the jellyfish, which are the most profitable statues to, to grind. Night vision helmets being a good thing here. And I wanted to go do other stuff than sit at this grinder. I wanted to go sit at another grinder. Anyway, uh, so the cool thing about that is you can make a lot of money and then you can spend the money on totally stupid stuff like this companion cube pet so yeah it's my companion cube and apparently apparently it will stab you in total darkness which i've not seen yet but i i'm kind of actually wanting to try is there an area of complete darkness i can go stand in Uh, about right here, I think. If I put down a platform. There we go. So, put down a platform, and then, uh, let's see. I've got to get rid of all my lights. So, that would be the, the light pet. Uh... Oh, yeah! He just hit me for, for damage. You little shit! Amazing. So my, if I ever get in total darkness, my my stupid vanity pet hurts me. Amazing. Well, there's only one thing to do, I suppose, and that's to throw the stupid thing into lava. Come here. Come here. Supposedly this thing like screams uh, when you throw it in lava. Let's uh, turn up the turn up the sound a bit. Holy crap! Yeah. Wow, those were some noises, huh? Jeez. Like, what the hell, man? This thing's creepy. No, 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 no. Now, uh, what was I going to do? Ah, right. Uh, the teleporters. All right, so the first teleporter takes us to... Uh, the, well, the second one goes to the... I made it go to the jungle grinder. The jungle ocean grinder. So this is basically just waiting for hard mode. More or less, and I, I did dismantle some of the the, the traps because I needed them for for the other grinder, um, 
which is the first one. And this actually goes all the way down to here. I, I ran a wire all the way down my shaft. Giggity. And then I take the second teleporter to actually get in the place. So this is what it's looking like now. I've got a five second timer for these. They basically are just responsible for aggroing enemies. And that's pretty much it. And then this here is responsible for uh, actually killing enemies. The items are meant to go down the, the thing. For whatever reason, the coins aren't. That's strange. Huh. I think I need more traps. Um, that's definitely, you know, a thing. I'm wondering if that's an issue with the, the slope. Let, let's try and make it be the staircase. And those are going the correct way. Yes. Yeah, okay, that looks... Okay, that... Is that... You know what? I mean, when I'm, when I'm in here, I am going to have this ring equipped. So that just sucks up the drops from, like, a pretty long way away. And anything that does happen to die on the side, you can just come here and get... Uh, so you can pretty much get all the stuff without having to go outside the, gr the grinder, which is kind of important. And even, even in normal mode, I mean, it makes a steady profit, right? Uh, and I got the, the light. It's all lit up and everything. Uh, overall, pretty happy with it. So as soon as we go to hard mode, we'll see how this thing handles. Now, before going to hard mode, I have, uh, there's the dungeon. I ran through the dungeon real quick. It's, it's, it's dungeon. Uh, it's, ter it's Terraria, normal mode dungeon. So, um, uh, nothing overly exciting. I suppose, let's turn this off and, uh, I'll head over there. If nothing else, making that grinder has been, um, amazing for, uh, getting the metal detectors. I found like four metal detectors. Uh, but yeah, this is the dungeon. It looks like I didn't actually go this way. Let's go explore this real fast. And I need to just mark all the... Do I have a gold key on me? No, nah, I don't. So I just... I've been marking the these keys with ch uh, torches. And it just occurred to me that I'm... I want the, I want the water candle. Um, it just occurred to me that I'm out of torches. But yeah, that... Uh, that makes them easier to find, because they pop up as, like, a bright gold on the map. And I, I think I did that with another chest. Ah, uh, no, there it is. Yeah. They're, they're fairly big blobs of, uh, gold. You can pick them out from a distance. That might be uh, slightly louder than I wanted. 10% is probably a pretty solid... Uh, it's a spear statue. I don't know if these are do anything. I think maybe to make my chests easier to see. There's another one. Maybe there'll be some torches in a pot. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yes, excellent. All right. These things are pretty annoying. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, it sticks out pretty good. I don't even know what this is. This right here? I I don't know. What is that? Like, what actually, what the hell is this? So, I assume it's... I'm assuming it's something that I can open in hard mode. But that's not a... That's just a freaking vase. I don't want a vase. What am I going to do with this? I mean, I guess I'd stick it in my base. A vase in the base. How about that? I'm, I'm, I'll leave. I'll go away. I'm sorry. Let's take these water candles out of here. This place on hard mode, I believe, will get quite uh, nasty. Uh, so I'm really not ready for... How does this look? Uh, it looks a little derpy, huh? Let's put... Uh, there we go. There we go. Have I explored this area? Ooh, oh, sweet. A trap. Okay. Yeah, you can't make those as far as I know, so it's like, whatever you get, that's, well, that's what you get. I wonder if you take more damage from spikes in, uh, hard mode. Blue dungeon candle, that's really cool. I'm gonna get my spider out. I could just open this. That's a gold one. 
That's a handgun. Um, eh. I guess I'll have it. Don't really want the recall potions. I I would take the uh, the chest though, the the gold chest. That's pretty cool. All right, so we'll just go ahead and get that. What's that down there? I'm curious. It's a big open area right here. Oh, that is a uh, a marble biome, like within like inside the dungeon. All right, that's actually kind of cool. I don't really want a gravitation potion. I don't really want bombs. My inventory's full. My inventory's always full in this game. I wish there was a backpack item. Blue bricks. I guess I'll keep those. The wormhole potions are also valuable. I, I don't know if I need five sand. I think I can live without the five sand. Wow, I thought I explored all of the dungeon, and apparently I missed, I missed like, this one, like, one hallway that's opened up into just, like, this massive other area. I can open that. Uh, okay. Cool. One of those. I don't really... Alright. Alright, That's so apparently what we're doing is exploring the rest of the dungeon this episode. And honestly, it's not that hard. Like, even when you get here, it's not even that hard. Uh, as long as you have, like, some life hearts and a suit of armor of some kind. If you can beat uh, Skeletron, then the dungeon itself is, is I feel, uh, really, really easy. In normal mode. Now, I've not never been to the hard mode dungeon yet. My experience with hard mode was to basically fish near my base and go into the ice biome near my base and get, like, the stuff to make the frost armor. And what else did I do? I mostly fished, and that's how I got... I just, I just fished, because I was apparently leery of... Of going out. Okay, I've I'm back in uh, charted territory. Oh, there's a chest I didn't mark. Derp, derp. That looks like it's like an ice key, huh? Uh, and it looks kind of like there's a place I didn't explore over this way. Oh, the background wall changed. Interesting. Check that out. Oh wow. Okay. So there's a I think I have one of these keys. Like a jungle key? Should I open this in hard mode, or...? I think I should wait to, like, get the hard mode for this kind of stuff. That's what my gut tells me. Although this goes somewhere. There's, like, a cavern over here with some sort of glowy thing in it. I think that's just... I think that's demonite. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's just demonite. I do want the silt. Um... Silt is fairly valuable because it, uh, that's very, very specific. Wow. Uh, you can get some cool stuff out of the silt. In fact, if there's more up here, I kind of want to go mine it all. I'm pretty sure I got it all. I don't know what I'm doing now. I'm just, I'm just kind of going. Ooh, silt. Yeah, yeah. Screw that valuable metal. Give me, give me this like trash stuff that has like this specific use. I'm trying to get like. Let me. I want to go. No, I want to. Yes. There. All right, we're back in the dungeon now. For those who don't know, uh, I have hired uh, Courtney as my editor. So I basically just I send her the uh, raw footage. She does, uh, like, channel management. So all I have to do, worry about now is, like, just doing the raw footage, which is amazing. It's so That is so liberating for me, as somebody who makes videos. Like, I just... Cause I never really liked video editing that much. It was always this chore. It's like, you know, oh, you recorded your video. That's cool. Now it's time to... Uh, now it's time to, like, edit. And I'm just like, oh. Uh, what do we got in this room? Okay, a dart trap. That's a start. That's a valuable piece of loot. Uh, a gold key. I... Damn it. Um... I, I don't really... I don't... I think I was gonna build with this stuff, but, like, it comes out of a grinder, so I... have infinite granite. So I'm just gonna get rid of my granite. Um, also... That's valuable. So is this.
I guess I'll just leave this way. Let's see what's down here. Oh. Oh, cool. Hey. Uh, check out the statues. Hmm. But. Do we have room? Can I... Oh, yeah, there we go. There's the jungle key. I bet that fits in that jungle-themed chest back in the dungeon. I, I don't want to, like... I don't want to open that unless it's hard mode, though, so... I guess I'm... Maybe I'm weird, but... It's a granite chest. Magic mirror... I don't really... want any of this stuff. I mean, the magic mirror is pretty cool. Shield statue's kind of neat. Um... The companion cube does not like lava. Alright. Uh, I think I got the whole dungeon. <sighs> Never mind. I did not. Alright, let's... Ah! Let's go this way. I'll get back into this dungeon shaft, giggity. Um, now, let's go this way. Whee! I did not grab that water candle, and future me is probably going to get killed based on like crazy spawns going off because I left a water candle. This Featherfall Potion actually makes getting around, like, slightly harder. Alright, now, uh, this is the way I did not go earlier. Uh, I can just open this. No, I can't. Never mind. There we go. Uh, mark it off. Now are we done with the dungeon? Have I explored the whole thing? Ah, oh, there's a... There's a key right there. Uh, yes. Give thing. No, no, I need... I need the key. I need... The, I don't need that. I need... There we go. Okay, it's a blue moon. Yeah, I... I don't... I don't really... Like, I don't, I'll take the blue moon, I guess. And I'll take the chest, most importantly. I'll take my torches down. There's a tally counter. Uh, don't want the tally counter. Yeah, I guess take the tally counter. Now, uh, now is that the the full dungeon? Uh, y yes, yes. Yeah. Ow, balls. Ugh. All right. That probably is just like a little piece right there. I don't think it is going to go like too far. Watch it be like... Watch it. Watch this go, like, up here, and it's like this huge area. Alright. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell myself that I've explored, like, 99% of the dungeon, and we're good enough. We can head out of here. Alright. Yeah, but, 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 but. Let's use the... Let's use this mirror. Whee! Alright, cool. Now, we gotta go sort the inventory. This should be fairly easy. Uh... Bam! Oh. God, I love that. I wish Minecraft had that feature, you know? Every game needs that feature. Like, every single game. Ever made. Even even games with no chests, they should have, like, a quick sort option in there, anyway. Just, just do it. Just have it. Did I get any chests that I need? No, I just need one more... I need one more fishing chest. Or ocean chest, which actually should be pretty easy to get. Uh, let's throw that in there. That's building material. Eh. There's potions... Potion. 
Uh, boss summons. I guess these are, are they consumables? They're not really con- I mean, yeah, I guess they are, huh? Uh, let's go sort our, uh, oh, the, the, uh, accessories, yeah. Uh, we have a tally counter, and I got a blue moon. I don't really want the blue moon. I'm just gonna sell it. Let's see, let's sell it to the, uh, this guy. 54 silver! That's, like, yeah, that's a waste of my inventory space, because, like, a single night vision helm... Uh, from the gr the grinder over here is two gold, so it's like okay. Now, this is the fun part: the silt. You take it to the extractor. I think you get this from the um the king slime. Uh, the king slime will just randomly show up. Uh, alternatively, they can naturally spawn towards the edges of the world. If you can walk around a wooded area right by the ocean, it's a pretty good bet. Uh, the rare thing we're looking for here is Amber. Uh, Amber's actually really rare, and you can't really farm it that well. Uh, and I just got one piece out of all this. Oh, nope. Wow, I suddenly just got, like, three pieces all of us, like, all of a sudden. Alright. Five pieces of Amber. Now, Amber is used for something. Uh, let me go ask the crafting guide here. Amber. Okay, uh, Amber is used for... I mean, an Amber Staff is a like an absolute waste of it. Uh, Amber Gem Lock. That's for Capture the Gem. Uh, I've never played that. Amber Gem Spark Block. That's kind of cool. Uh, oh, right there. Large Torches. Crate Potions. Crate Potions take Amber, and good luck getting a large amount of Amber reliably for your Crate Potions. I don't know, like, what the best way to go about getting amber is it's just I guess silt I guess I don't know so crafting materials and the ores uh, the ores can actually be used themselves for making potions like the uh, defensive potions and stuff so I just keep the ores for now and I'll only process them if I need to because I actually I actually have quite a bit of the bars here all right uh, now the other things I need to do before going to hard mode is I need to dig some containment elevators, shafts all the way down to hell. I need to make some of those to contain the spread of biomes. If you really want to do it right, what you can do is every 100 blocks dig a, a elevator down. But that's a that's quite a bit of off-camera work, and I think the fastest way for me to do, do it would be to just spam dynamite straight down. Uh... Now, there's another thing I'm missing from normal mode that I probably should have gotten was the B mount that lets you fly? That sounds pretty cool. But I don't actually know where this world's honey is. You have to summon the stupid bee in the honey block biome, I think. Actually, let me go check something. Let me go check if I can manufacture that biome. 